Historic Parsons Cemetery is a landmark that is both an operational and a historical cemetery with a long history intertwined with the city of Salisbury. It's also a majestic mid 18th century garden with a beautiful lakeside setting. And back in 2022, the cemetery also established their pet garden, tranquil ground serving to be a secure and meaningful resting place for our beloved friends. And we are so happy to be joined by Dr. Brent Zaprowski, a board member of Parsons Cemetery, along with Mr. Michael Day, a volunteer at Parsons Cemetery. Thank you both for being here this Thank afternoon. Thank you. And who do we have here? This is Morty. Yeah. And he's uh, seven years old. I, he was five, he was a rescue at five, and I got him. I thought he was a min pen. It turns out he's 59% Chihuahua. Is that right? Really? <laughs> you know, Marty, I think, plays a story in this here in just a little bit. First, I, I, let's go ahead and start with this. You, you spent a long time around the cemetery. I, I, ha you, you I have. have. Yeah? Mm -hmm. How, how so? I've got my family plot is there. Okay. My grandfather, yeah? okay. grandmother, relatives are all buried up there. So, gotcha. And it's right around the corner from me, so we walk. Oh, so up so and down. Okay. And the, the same with you, Doctor. Yes. Yeah, right. I live right along the cemetery yeah. border, mm -hmm. so you know I'm in the cemetery a lot. Same so thing. tell us about. Uh, you're here to talk about an event. It's called Blessing of the Animals. Tell us about that. Well, it's September 15th, Sunday at two o'clock, and Father David Mashad will be there from St. Uh, Peter's. Peter's downtown will be there blessing the animals. And okay. Now, we were we were talking about the the animals that were interred there and you happen to have an intimate knowledge of that. Yes, uh, in fact, uh, we had two labs that have since passed away and the ashes were sitting on a shelf in the shed for a long time because yeah. many times you don't know what to do with them. Right. And so when the pet garden opened up, I said, perfect, let's put our pet ashes in there. Got a brick and grave with their names on it and now every time we want to go over and think about them, we just wander over there. There and they are. There How about are? that? Yep. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so, so uh, look back to the blessing of the animals. What is the process? It's pretty straightforward. Uh, the Father David comes from St. Peter's Church. Uh, anybody who wants to have their pets blessed can come. Uh, there's a little ceremony he does. He, there's some prayers that are specific for the blessing of the animals. Yeah. We have a little St. Francis statue there, so it's kind of part of the theme. It's such an intimate thing for people. Why is this so important? Well, what, what, why I was interested in it and got involved with it was my dog, last dog, was 17 and a half when she passed away. Yeah. She's buried in my backyard with okay. a little monument there. But I'm going to move at some point. I'm going to have to move away. And she, she, my dog, she's not going to go with me. Right. So I would like to have a place where I could go just, how you doing, speak to her. Wow. Well, like you do with your relatives, I go by my yeah. grandfather's grave. I never thought about that. We've got mm -hmm. some of our animals planted on our property. Mm -hmm. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Yep. When yeah. You move, and also, if you have an apartment, where do you put? Where do you go? Where do you go? Yeah. And then where can you go to commune? And it's, it's such a peaceful, serene place. Yeah. It's just wonderful just to go there and meditate, yeah. sit around, or yeah. walk. And, and that is a big point. A lot of people don't have a place to put the ashes that maybe in their house. And at some point, you know, kind of like to have a more permanent place. Right. And there's plenty of room for more permanent places. More, oh, yes. Yeah. Plenty. Oh. Well, we have two versions. Um, but, you know, you can, you can buy individual little pillars, as they're called, mm -hmm. put the ashes in it, have the dogs or cats, you know, name engraved on it. Yeah. Or we have a larger ossuary, which is where you put the ashes in kind of in a, in a little bag and it goes in this vault. Right. That's where, that's where my two pets went. Okay, so remind us of the where's and when's of the event. So it's the 15th, 15th right, of September? Sunday, Sunday, September 15th, 2 p.m. in Parson Cemetery, which is right off Division Street, almost downtown Salisbury. Sure. Okay, yeah. gotcha. And it's, uh, it'll be held right at where the pet garden is, in yeah. that part of the cemetery. And you can't miss it. You can't miss it. It's eight, it's a cemetery is 18 acres, and it's over a quarter of a mile long. If mm -hmm. you walk it up and down, you can walk up and down four times and you've done over a mile. Wow. You can't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no. It's hard to miss. Gentlemen, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you for thank being here. And Marty, thank you. Good job, Marty. Ready to go. Ready to go.